you want, and uh, it's quite metabolic, you know, it's quite consistent. That is a, and that's a great metaphor for how we want to operate, yep. Yeah, yeah. so, so I, uh, I, I think that you want to, I see the potential uh, in capacity building, right? Yes. Let, let me put you an example now. Now I'm working and uh, I, I'm really, I really believe in what you're doing, so I'm willing to do uh, anything that I can to support. But not everybody wants to do that. You know, some people want to join you because they want to learn from what you're doing. And if they end up doing what they are best doing, then they're not learning, you know? So how do you create a school of, of uh, hackers Agriculture, as you say, if you are uh, in a hurry all the time. So how do we how do we create that ladder? And I think the cycle goes from replication. You get good in replication, or we try to uh, push as much as possible to build communities communities that replicate our machines, and also then they can go to development. But we need to create uh, uh, a flow also. Of individual development, you know? Okay, so you're thinking that, uh, I, I think I'm a totally in sync with you, and I, I believe that once we get the heavy replication happening, then we yeah. have no problem with getting new developers because they see that um, yeah. it's better to collaborate. Right now, the thing we're short on is a lot of the, the open source culture, the distributive, and I corrected you to say distributive, not distributed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the culture of distributive enterprise is sadly missing and it's such a new idea for so many people just like yesterday i was interviewing this one polish guy actually and he was like so clueless to the idea um well uh, i'm recording this so i'm not gonna say that uh he i mean it was just so foreign to him like he was asking all these questions and i know that it's a big block for a lot of people so uh what you propose is i'm, I'm totally on board with Words. For instance, in Europe, uh, we need to tune the, 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 the wording, you know, for instance, peer-to-peer -peer is very catchy and people kind of not understand what is peer-to-peer -peer, uh, uh, yeah. market and stuff like that. So it's yeah. something that uh, we need to rethink. Yeah. Okay. Also, the same with uh, open source uh, thing, everybody knows uh, about it. But here in, in Europe, people go crazy with the circular economy term. And it's basically the same as ecology, as you refer to, you know? Uh-huh. Okay. So, That's a good point. Good point. Okay. So, so it's, uh, I think uh, that's, that's more about marketing and trying to speak their language. Yeah, okay. Trying then to, to speak your language, you know? Okay. And then just one comment on a peer-to-peer. Open source ecology is open source centric. Peer to peer is not open source centric. They actually, uh, from my interactions with them, they do not. Uh, well, actually, a lot of them actually don't understand what NC is, and they don't. I I really think from some of the discussions, like for example, yeah. their peer production license is totally missing the point of open yeah. source. Uh, are you familiar what with that? I mean that the, what I mean is that the, the, the notion of peer to peer uh, kind of uh, yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter which organization takes the term. Uh, it is a phenomenon. Right, right. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. It allows a peer to peer platform, you know? Yeah. It allows individual to individual to, to work together uh, and contact each individual and, you know, build a community based on peer to peer. Yeah, but, but we have to, I mean, the other part of that, we have to be very careful when, when we say peer to peer. It's not only peer-to-peer; -peer, it's also open source. Because in a peer-to-peer -peer community, a lot of them forget that open source is a uh, is a is a value. So no, just I agree. I agree. Yeah. So it's a matter of I'm talking when I'm talking peer-to-peer. -peer, I refer to the distributed and distributive enterprise. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. So, no, you got the yeah. you got yeah. the right meaning behind it. But I, I just make that explicit because a lot of people I actually get a lot of people contact me that hear about peer-to-peer -peer and they have a, a not a lot of info no not a lot of knowledge about the open source aspect so yeah, I've, I've just experienced has, that i didn't have uh, knowledge about open source until, uh, until you ask me a question hey do you know uh, what is a license and what is this and that so exactly. people don't know exactly what it is but they they, they are attracted by that you know
Exactly. Out of the about 40 or 50 people I've interviewed already, only one or two knew what open source was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was the same with me. And, yeah. Uh, and I, it's, it's normal, you know, and that's not necessarily bad. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, so, yeah, so this, this that I showed you is uh, the analysis I made, etc. And then uh, I was looking at the... Well, one thing that I want to share with you now that... Yeah. Yeah. One thing that I'm concerned is, uh, let's say, one idea that I had, because I come from Cuba, so I, I, I come from a place where people fix stuff, they try to uh, make their products la last as long as possible. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the problem uh, is that the technology of open source technology needs uh, of a certain kind of requirements that you, perhaps you have in the United States, like land and space, right? In Europe, that's very different. So I'm, I'm thinking about uh, in the future, if, if it makes sense, why not also trying to uh, open a line of uh, open source households, which it doesn't exist yet. And it's something that uh, uh, for uh, cities makes a lot of sense, like for instance, an open source washing machine. Uh -huh. And then in, in that context, it, it is easier to replicate a distributed enterprise of leasing washing machines and fixing washing machines than doing that with tractors, you know what but I mean? You st yeah, right, but you still need the fabrication facility, the, the workshop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree, I agree, I agree. So, uh, what I mean, but one thing is, uh, you know, the, the, the technology development, you started the hard way, you know, you started with the, yeah. with the really uh, hardcore stuff, yep. which is something you could do, but not everyone can do, right? Right. So, but you can uh, penetrate with an open source washing machine that uh, first you start by, okay, you can do it DIY, not necessarily with local resources as you want to do, but then you can do version one, version two, version three. But the thing is that it's easier to build a cooperative or a, or a distributed enterprise with a washing machine than with a tractor. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Because yep. the city people are willing to pay and try this kind of stuff. That's that's a, an idea, right? So that's something that is in the back of my head. You know, well, but also, but also, but also, a 3D printer meets that criteria, or a car. Yeah, a car, but a car is more difficult than a washing machine. Yeah. So uh, a car makes a lot of sense as well. I mean, uh, households, consumer goods. Yeah, yeah. And like. Like the thing I you heard me talk about is the cordless drill construction set because cordless oh, yeah. drills that's are a billion dollar market. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what, for instance, in Europe there is a, a, a platform called Peterbeat where people uh, share stuff and they were thinking about uh, making a, a, a durable uh, drills and stuff like that. So what's that what's it called? Peterbeat. Uh, type it out. Uh, I'm kind yeah, of. I will tell you, I will tell you. These are uh, these were actually we met uh, here. B. It's a, it's a it's a kind of famous platform, and their value proposition was that the drills. Uh, here B. We have an overproduction of drills in, in in Europe and in the Western world, and why do we? They did the math. Why do we need so much drills if people don't use it just three uh, percent in a year? You know. So why not to share them? That's the main value proposition we have. But to do that, you need to make them really uh, robust, really durable, you know, not like shitty, uh, cheap kind of drills. Exactly. Exactly. So, so these kind of things are things that people are really hooked up uh, in Europe because they buy all the things, all the idea of consumer uh, behavior and sustainable consuming and, uh, you know, uh, trying to change the world to different consumption consumption patterns, right? And they see a uh, washing machine or a drill more close to them than a, than yeah. a tractor. You know? And perhaps a, a 3D printer is more for hackers and geeks. Unless you have a, an application like precious plastic to build products and stuff like that, you know? Yep. So these, these, are, these are just, I'm just sharing with you things that I have in, in the back of my head around the uh, different kind of, of development uh, lines that you have in open source in color. Yep. 
Yeah, and and um, right, right. No, definitely, definitely. Uh, that's that part is not new as far as okay, give part, get particular projects that are more, more uh, relevant to people. But but I'm not sure that fit. I mean, the question is sequencing. When does that come in? Because right now we're working on the roadmap for this year, like for the homes. So when does well, that come in? Yeah, I would leave it out of your roadmap, uh, but I would I would have it as a as a as a proposal for to consider, you know. Or if somebody else wants to do it, uh, it, it can be under under the umbrella of open source ecology. You don't have to take over every project, you know. Right, right. That's when we grow. Once we have the replications, that's when you get the R and D coming back yeah, at, yeah. in copious amounts. Okay. So is that uh, what else do we need to cover regarding the management? Well, the website, more the website. I was seeing the website. And first, first thing, I, yep. I based on the on on the goals of uh, which is something that I, I this is a, a previous analysis I made when if you go to slide six. This is a uh, this is a, a flow where basically you see the orange part is uh, activity modeling. So what what behaviors or uh, relations with the actors that are going to? Oh, I love this. This is good. I mean, yeah, yeah. And this this was uh, this was made by uh, a pioneer in, in software, Larry Constantine. He's one of the gurus in software development, and object oriented design, and stuff like that. So you have, it's just a remark, right? Uh, I'm not so much concerned with the, with the website design. It's important. But the most important is to uh, get three or four uh, key activities and, and you know. I love it. That you want uh, to have, that you want to enable through your solution. You know? <laughs> I love it. I mean, you're actually doing the thinking behind. That's exactly what we need. It's like we don't need a website. We need the, the activity model, you know. And solution yeah, model. We, and the, they have a, a notation for that, you know, like what are the tools, for instance, uh, tools that you give to people are the, the, the documentation uh, that you give, the instructional, uh, but you also have roles uh, which are, for instance, founders or people that want to learn uh, uh, or they want to replicate what you're doing. So these are different roles and then you need to think how do you reach them. And, uh, and yeah, that's basically uh, so. Huh. Like, activity is your workshop, right? Yeah. If you go to slide five, I simplified the model and I, and I did it only around the D3D printer. So yep. If you see, the unique value proposition is a workshop in this case. Is right? this lean canvas? Yeah, it's the same. Okay. So I just put, I simplified the, the, the canvas in, in slide four. Only around the workshop to also, uh, you know, make it clear. Make nice. It clear. That is that is good. What you wrote there, that's correct. Yep. So uh, the website, as far as I see, is a portfolio. You have one section that you have is a, a portfolio of uh, products and services, and your workshops are services. Yep. For for your specific customer segment, which are people that want to do something, they want to. Either fund you, or they want to develop a skill, or they want to become open source ecologists. You know. Exactly. So that that I, I started with this, right? So. Yep. Exactly. That's really good. Go more in more detail uh, using the framework that I, uh, I showed you. Uh huh. No, this is really good. What I'm liking is that you're not just throwing the frameworks at me; you're actually applying them. This is good. Yeah. This is this is what I'm trying to in. You know. This is what I really, uh, the, the technical side is something I want to learn. Uh huh. So I want to, I, I would like to be a, a, a maker and I'm trying to do that and building 3D printer, but I'm in the face of replicating and studying and learning, you know? Yeah. Uh, design wise, I'm good for user centered design, but technology wise, I need to learn a lot. So, excellent. Uh, so this those is are my weak points. Uh, this is more my, my expertise, you know, my field of expertise. Yeah, really good. Very good. What are you doing yeah. for the university right now? Are you using this this lean lean agile in your I work use, right now? I use it in my piece. I, I use it in different uh, I want a, a, a ready to start a price here in Chile. 
myself with the product with a stethoscope, a digital stethoscope, but I, I didn't want to go for this for for to making a business out of that, you know. What did you um, want to start? Uh, it was a, it was a, a, it was like a plug and play uh, stethoscope uh, that you can okay. uh, that you can plug into your smartphone and then you can immediately digitize what you are recording. And that, yeah, so that's yeah. the main idea behind it. Uh -huh. and I have it as, it's a small project, but it's not that I want to do that. You know, that's not my life. Well, so. So we're on an agreement that that so you can you use D three D as that next business venture? Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to. I'm, I'm thinking about that. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, social enterprise. Uh, well, in part, like you're saying, you know, uh, you're is, is, yeah, you're in the Netherlands, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because of your interest like this, yeah, we should think about scheduling an event for where you are, like, because yeah, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's. Yep. Uh, let's say I would try that. Uh, my real focus, Martin, is not on the on a product itself, but on the on really uh, the the idea of economic empowerment. Yes. Yes. Of, you know. Of and that's why I, I, it doesn't matter if it's a, a 3D printer or if it's a washing machine. Uh, what I really care is about which, uh, around which product you can make, you can change the, the economic relations, you know? Yes, yes, yes. I that, think, um, I like the washing machine. Um, actually, uh, a lot of people have asked me about the washing machine. I, I also think like the, in terms of sequencing, I would call the cordless drill as perhaps the next thing to do after, like the the filament maker and the cordless drill, like that well, going that kind of route. Both. I agree. We are in the same uh, same line, man. It's just uh, uh, the how is, is is what is the question. The what is clear, and the what is not the technology is the the economic empowerment of community-based enterprise. You know, people uh, that gather together and uh, become. Uh, Agents of change, you know. Yep. At the local scale, this is a, a it's a model that can be replicated uh, in cities, but also in, in places like you or Nicaragua or stuff like that. So yep. actually, I was thinking about uh, in this. That's also I'm talking about five years, right? But I was thinking, wow, why why aren't we or why is Mar Martin thinking about? Uh, Putting, wrapping up in a container a full micro factory for, for a set of components that I can, for instance, ship to Cuba. Then I have a, a pile of, of solar cells to, to, to solve and create a micro station with some uh, means of production to even expand, you know? Even using the, the, the container as part of the infrastructure, you know? Yes, indeed. Or, well, that's you've heard me say that, right? I don't know, but I, I, I'm a, I assume that you are thinking about it. Because yeah, yeah. A, a lot of times I've said that the entire Global Village construction set can fit in a sh single shipping container and be deployed. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the, the level of replication that uh, I, would, I would like to see in five years, you know? Oh, that's, that's a good goal. Very good. Okay, I like that. Five years. Uh, I mean, we won't have all the tools. Well, no, no, I, I'll take that back. Within five years, we can have all the tools the way things are going right now. Yeah, or not, not, not even all the tools. Imagine that you pack uh, uh, a next amount of uh, a relevant amount of uh, solar panels. Yeah. And, and you ship them to a place like Philippines where a hurricane came and destroyed everything. Yeah. And you can power people right there, right now. There are people. There are there are organizations that are trying to fund. Uh, for this kind of stuff, but there are not there are not programs, so we can actually develop programs to uh, and actually can be a very strong revenue uh, stream, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I bring students from uh, anywhere in the world. I make uh, I I prepare this container uh, full of, of machines and components and stuff uh, with all the documentation, blah blah blah. Even if they want and they are paid to do so, they can go to the place and they can. Uh, deploy that and teach people and, and start doing capacity building around that container, you know? Yeah, I like it, yep. So you can really make revenue streams uh, out of that if you find a coalition and partnership with uh, 
local partners or people, but you need capital for that, you know? So, yep. But there, there's a lot of capital around for that. You just need to grow it, uh, the yep. initiative. And it's more than the machine itself. It's the program that you want to, uh, the initiative, you know, the intervention that you want to. Yep. Agreed. So that, yeah, yeah. So that's how I, I, I that's what I would like to, to, to live for, you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a way to get to get it financially feasible. That's why I work three days a week and then try to have time for these kind of projects. Yeah, really good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right. totally, totally with you on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like seems like your your motivation is very, I mean, very authentic here. Like you, you really want this. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just uh, I will keep working on this, uh, and then we can iterate on the on, on some remarks on the website based trying to be consistent with these requirements. You know. Yep. Yep. And uh, and the main thing is uh, because we want to give it three weeks. I want to run this next workshop in, in June according to the... Have you seen the financial projections graph? No. Let me show you that. Yeah. So we focus then on, 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 on testing the, the workshop at the workshop level, the, the channel that we're going to design, right? Uh, sorry, say it again. Yeah, we will focus on the slide uh, five, not on four, which is uh, very too ambitious, but more on this uh, level of the workshop. Uh, yeah, the level level of the workshop is D three D. What you what we have there in blue, that value yeah. proposition. Yep. That. Yeah, okay. That's what I mean. We we will try to not. We will think about the website, but our first uh, spring deliverable would be on the three D printer itself. So you okay. Correct. You know, you see... Uh, okay, so look at the the monthly stable revenue goals for 2017 graph. Okay, we're, okay. And you put it, uh, so, here. so here's the relationship of the website to D3D. In or, I believe in order to, to get to the goal of a distributed enterprise baseline, $86,000, that means running a workshop every month where we build 24 3D printers. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw this. One. Okay, so yeah. to get people to get people to show up, we need a website and we need product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with that. So for me, it's more about the marketing. So what, why people would do this? How do we sell that in the in the, in the yeah in, in the web page? You know. Yep. So it's not about just buying or build it. Uh, it's, it's more about the story behind the printer, and uh, that should be nice to do it with a video or something. And right there, having a call for action. Yep. Uh, yep. Call for action. You, you're using yeah, all the right words. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's something that I that I'm trying that I'm kind of missing a little bit. In the, for instance, when I went to your to the open source. Ecology.org. Uh, right. You know, it's information, but it's very difficult to get uh, a click that is a call to action, you know? Exactly. So, so this is what we're going to fix. That's what we're going to fix with this current website, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there are, now it's very common. You see a banner and you, see, you have two or three buttons that say uh, uh, enroll in the workshop. Uh, or download the documentation so that they can, in, in just in less than one minute in their website, they can already be getting retrieving. Uh, yeah, they can be acting. Oh. Yep. Have you seen um, Have you seen my the OSC Vivid Vision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Because that's yeah. basically the three, 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 right? That was the three year part of the three, three, three. Yeah. Yeah. Materialize uh, it in the in the workshop uh, yeah. page, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I will keep working on that, and uh, yeah, we are. I will. I will. I will update you on Monday. Excellent. This is excellent. So just one note uh, to wrap up with: the, what I said for the spe the specification version two. 
There's a lot of stuff in there. So don't worry. Like you can feel free to reduce that product. Just tell me clearly what you will be able to commit to because we're let's, I mean, how much do you think we can do in three weeks? Yeah, yeah, but what, okay, and first, okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, the first thing is, um, how much of the documentation, like, is it okay to do, you, you know we got to document this, how we built the site, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we can do that after, so maybe what we do is, is the uh, first three weeks just get you right onto the WordPress, so I'll get you an account there, and, yeah, yeah. but uh, be careful about the mess we have already, because we already have... Uh, open building institute on there and we were actually moving the website from that old server to the new server so be careful about the directory structure like how would you do it because because you um because what we want to do is probably 3dp.opensourceecology.org so that would be yeah. uh there'll be a subfolder of the yeah uh, are you familiar are you familiar with all that back-end linux admin stuff What would be the most effective way to do it? Well, I, I can, uh, for me, I, I, did, I started already working on it, so uh, first thing I try to do uh, now is to specify clearly uh, the components of this page and, the, you know, the relation between the actor and the, and the tool. I, it doesn't take that much time, and then I try to express it in, in, a, in a use case, you know, in, in, a, in a web page. So it doesn't matter if you do it in WordPress or not. I normally, when I work in WordPress, I, I do a lot of draft versions, and I discuss the different drafts, and then when, when, when it's ready to go, when it's approved, then it's published, you know? So yeah. I normally don't publish anything. I, I, I do drafts. Okay. And then, if, then if you like it, then it, it, it goes live, you know? Okay. So how important is it for you to be working on WordPress, actually doing the install? right now like would that be better you mean in my computer well what's the best thing to do do we get you directly to the server or can you do it on your computer and we just move it over to the server uh, i think it's very, i think it's more practical to have it in the server you know because think about it you know do you i i really have no idea about how many stuff you have there uh how you're managing that so make the right decision on that uh I, I work in WordPress with other uh, places, and it's not a complex uh, web website, so it has all the pages. I don't. I think you have seen it, right? When you enter WordPress, you have a list of all the pages you have. Yeah. And then you can create draft of those pages and replicate them. And, yeah, and I think. Uh, I think it's going to be simple if we just create a subdirectory on our server for. Yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just let you have access to that. Yeah, yeah, um, like a uh, sandbox, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll work on that. I'll ask Tom to do that. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I will start. Uh, when I start, I start writing uh, as I did this uh, first uh, documentation uh, iteration. So I move forward and start, start doing that, you know? Yep. That's good. That's okay. good. And scope it, just scope it to that which is feasible within the three weeks. Yeah, I, I will scope it only to a workshop. How do we sell a workshop? Yep, yep. Right? That's what we're trying to validate still, to learn. Exactly, exactly. Okay, that's really good, really good. All right. All right, so we'll talk Monday then? Yeah, yeah, sure. Excellent. Well, no, great job. This is good. I'm, I'm glad we're quite aligned on... Um, yeah, just, I mean, you, I mean, you, what's really good about you is that you're actually documenting the process and the product. So that's pretty rare. Not a lot of people operate like that. You know, most people are just, I'm just going to do it and forget about any theory behind it or documentation of it, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. this uh, is good. That's, that's something I, I need to do, otherwise I get lost. You know?
Yeah, and, and and remember that this what you're doing right now is not for us. This is going to be if this works. I mean, this is going to go. A lot of people are going to use it. So. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. 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 Hopefully. Yep. Okay. Well, Jose. Well, thanks so much. We'll we'll talk okay. soon. Uh huh. All right. See you on Monday. Okay. Bye bye.